Hey there everybody, welcome. We are going to take a look at how we can change which uh, editor is being used by default for editing source code as well as how we can change the themes of the two different editors, Mono Developer Visual Studio. Uh, we're not going to go into any more depth with those two, with either one of those editors at the moment. We'll kind of add to our knowledge of those editors over the course of this semester and uh, second programming semester in, in the fall. So to begin with, I'm going to create a script. So I'll hit Create C# -sharp script, and I'm going to call this script. Um, I'm going to call this my script. Now notice there's no space here, so we can't have any spaces inside the name of our script. And now I'm going to double click this, and it's going to load my script inside Visual Studio, which is the default editor that I use on my systems. In the lab, we're going to be using Mono Develop, but here on my systems and in my videos you'll see me using Visual Studio. Uh, which editor you use really doesn't matter. Uh, there are some technical differences between the two, there's some usability differences, there's some debugging differences, but uh, as far as writing code it's really not going to matter which one you use. Okay so here I am inside Visual Studio and here's my code but I can change the the appearance the theme of Visual Studio uh, if I go up here to tools and go to options in general I have a color theme and I only have three options I have this blue one hit OK which is kind of the default Visual Studio theme the Visual Studio appearance and the other one I have is this light one uh, so anyway, personally, I tend to prefer uh, the dark, dark backgrounds. So, all right. So I've got uh, Visual Studio, and I can change the color theme there. Uh, there's other things that we can change as well, but we'll add those as we go through our programming examples and and, and semesters, and and kind of as we need to customize things for for our work. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of Visual Studio. And now let's say I don't want to use Visual Studio. Let's say I want to use MonoDevelop instead. Or let's say I'm using MonoDevelop and I want to switch to Visual Studio. Assuming that they're both actually installed and MonoDevelop is installed by default with Unity, we can go to Edit inside Unity, go to our Preferences, and in External Tools we can set what we're using to be our script editor. So currently mine is Visual Studio. So I will change that to MonoDevelop like so and now when I double click on my script it will now load up in mono develop as opposed to Visual Studio at least it should oh it's loading up here there it is and you know if I don't like how small that is I can hold down control and use my mouse wheel and kind of zoom in or out or whatever so here we have uh, mono develop uh, if I want to change my theme of mono develop I can go to tools again and go to options and scroll down here I have uh, syntax highlighting is where the themes are within mono develop so I can do a default so if you first installed mono develop this is probably what it looked like I can use one that kind of looks like the Visual Studio one I can use some other dark ones you know whatever um, okay so there we go so I've got mono develop and I've got Visual Studio. So I'm going to put this back to my editor of choice. Uh, Visual Studio. All right. So we can change which editor we're using by default, and we can change our themes, our our, our coloring within those editors. Uh, you know that doesn't seem like much, but just having that little bit of ownership of of your uh, editing environment, it, it it's it's a nice thing to do. Uh, so any questions just let me know otherwise we're gonna just keep adding to our knowledge of both C sharp and the editing tools as we go through the semester